Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell, and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.8 for free. Similar to my previous 3DS homebrew video, this video is quite long but is also quite easy to follow. If you need some help though, feel free to ask on my Discord server. The link to that is down below. All you'll need for this video is a 3DS or 2DS which is connected to Wi-Fi, an SD card and an SD card reader for your PC. But if you have a new 3DS or a new 2DS, you can access the SD card files over Wi-Fi, which means you won't need an SD card reader on your PC. And by the way, my new Nintendo 3DS XL giveaway ends soon, so make sure to enter for a chance to win this 3DS shown in the video. But anyway, I'll see you soon at the results video. Now it's time to shout out our Patreon supporters. For this month, we have Alexandre1 and Boxfish, so a huge shout out and thank you to them. But now, let's get started, and remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. I make new Nintendo videos like this every Sunday. First of all, you're going to need your 3DS's firmware version. To find yours, open up system settings and it will be shown in the bottom right corner of the top screen. Your firmware version may not look the same as mine, but it should start with 11.8. Now note down your entire 3DS firmware version, because we'll need it later in the video. Now open up the Nintendo eShop, because we're going to be downloading a free game. Once you're in the eShop, tap the search bar and then type in Subwars like I am here. Then tap OK. Once you tap OK, it should take you to this game here, but this is the wrong one because it has update in the title and on the top screen. If you try to use this game, the exploit won't work, so let's find the correct game now. And there it is, this game here is the one we want. And now download this game as normal. Once it's finished, head back to the home menu, then unwrap your new game. And now open the game, but make sure not to update it. If you already had this game before watching this video, or updated your game by mistake, we'll have to remove the update. Let's go over that now. Just open up system settings and then tap data management. Tap Nintendo 3DS, then tap add on content. Select Steel Diver Subwars, then delete the update data. And that's all you have to do to remove the update. Now open the game and ignore the update. 
all you have to do is make a new profile and assign it a me. Then tap back, return to the home menu, then close the software. Now over on your PC, open your internet browser and enter into the URL bar 3ds.console.guide and you'll be taken right to my 3DS page on my website. Find this video, then click BreakforceMovable.com. In my last video, so many people accessed the site at once that it crashed, but don't worry, this time the site owner gave me the AOK, -okay, so it should be fine now. In this box, enter your 3DS's friend code. To find your friend code, simply open the friends list and your code will be shown on your friend card. Type in your friend code there, then type in your console's ID 0 number into the second box. To find your console's ID 0 number, here's what to do. Open up your 3DS's SD card and make a new folder called My Backup. Then move this Nintendo 3DS folder to the My Backup folder. Now put the SD card back into your 3DS and then turn it on. Wait until this message disappears, then put the SD card back into your PC. And now on the root of your 3DS's SD card, there should now be a new Nintendo 3DS folder. Open it up and then copy the name of this folder and put it into the website. To quickly rename the folder, press F2 and then to copy it, press Ctrl C. Now let's fix the SD card. Delete the new Nintendo 3DS folder, then copy the old one from my backup to the root of the card. Delete the my backup folder and now let's move on to the next step. Paste the code into the website, click the checkbox and then click go. It will now give you a friend code to enter. So open your friends list on your 3DS, tap register friend, then type in the friend code it gives you and you'll become friends with the bot. Once you became friends, wait a few seconds, then click continue. and now it's going to process your file. This can take a few minutes. Once it's finished, click download, then save it to your desktop. Back on my website, click the Homebrew Files button and it will take you to this Google Drive page. Click download and then save it to your desktop.
Now click the scale minor button and it will take you to this page. Scroll down to here, then tap choose file and upload your movable.sed which we got from brutforcemovable.com. Then enter your console's region and press start. Then save the file to your desktop. Now visit the Homebrew Launcher website and enter your 3DS model and firmware version. The reason why we enter 11.7 even though we're on 11.8 is because the same payloads work. Then click download other app, then save the file to your desktop. Right click this file and then click properties. And then rename it to payload like I am here. You may or may not see the dot bin part. That's because of your PC settings. If you can see the .bin part, don't delete it. But if you can't see it, also don't add it. You can see here, it is a .bin file type. Now extract the homebrew file zip folder to your desktop. Then copy these two folders and boot file over to the root of your 3DS's SD card. Now inside the Steelhacks folder, delete the put payload here file. Then copy the payload file from your desktop to the Steelhacks folder. Now open the Nintendo 3DS folder, then open the folder which has your ID0 number in it. Open your ID1 folder, then open the title folder, then this folder, then open the folder which has 000D7 at the start of the name. And finally, open the data folder and replace this file with the one on your desktop. Now eject the SD card and put it back into your 3DS and delete these files from your PC. You won't need these anymore. Over on your 3DS, open up Steel Diver Subwars and the Homebrew Launcher should open. In my last video, my 3DS crashed when I tried to open it the first time. Just turn your console off, then turn it on again and launch the game once again. And that's it, you've just homebrewed your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.8. To leave the homebrew launcher, just press the start button and then the A button and you'll be kicked back to the home menu. And from now on, to open up homebrew, simply launch Steel Diver Subwars and it should work forever unless you update the game or your firmware. In next week's video, I'll be showing you how to use a homebrew app, but it's up to you to choose which one. Click the I in the top right corner to vote. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sordell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.